Good morning, everyone. You guys, I had a productive morning this morning. So, sorry. Good morning, everyone. It's your boy Sticks in Charge. You guys had a productive morning this morning. So, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm about to water my plants on my front doorstep. I wanna show you how much these birds done crapped on my doorstep, you all. Let me water my plants in the pots on the front doorstep and I'll take you outside so that you can see it. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm walking to my front door so that you can see my plants. So I'm gonna show you, this is why I gotta get my house power washed again in the front only. I might grab the hose and do it myself. So let me show you, hold on. So here's one of my plants on my front doorstep, you all. That's on, if you're facing my house, it's on the right. And you see all the bird droppings, you all. I got all the scrap cleaned up. And this is the plant on the left. So that's how it looks. Just like that. Okay, here's my flower bed. And there are my flowers popping up, you all. Got my yard nicely manicured. So I am happy. Then by my garage down there. So the bird droppings are pretty much right here, y'all. In this corner, right here. Then I got stuff on my door up here. And my palladium window up there. So that's how my house looks outside of my front doorstep. A hot you know what mess. You guys, let me turn my TV on in the basement. Even though it's not cool outside. Actually, you know what? Now, I'll come down later and watch some, um, watch a movie. I saved some movies, sorry, y'all. I saved some movies downstairs um, last night. Oh, wrong game. And I think I'm gonna watch some movies this tonight. Because you guys, I took off tomorrow. I did not feel like going in that place. Put some water up here. Sorry. Put some water up here on my terrible looking bar. The bar is looking scarce, you all. Because I got friends who are, that are drunks. Who are drunks. That's why when they come to my house, bring your own poison. I'm tired of paying for people's poison. All right. Back up the steps. I'm gonna drink me a sand Pellegrino water. Guess I got it this morning. Had a shower, brushed my teeth, washed my hair, took my vitamins, logged into my job. I'm gonna respond to the emails this morning. I have four meetings today, everybody. Four. Don't know why I have so many meetings, but I do. Got all my trash up. <sighs> this water is good. So what I did the other day, I bought me some more beer. I bought an 18 pack and put three limes in here. After this, I'm gonna drink some um, Unsweetened tea with lemon. Actually, I should eat something. I eat some beans. I'm gonna eat something, you all. I'm gonna eat something. I'm standing back because I don't want this stuff to splash up on my phone. So, guys. Let me get to work. I have an eight o'clock meeting. So I'm gonna eat something really fast. And then after seven minutes, eight, one at nine, one at, so I got meeting today at eight, nine, um, eight, nine, 11, 30, and then one, and then three. Something like that. So, 
I will hit you guys back a little later, all right? Have a good day. Peace. All right, you guys. I just finished two meetings this morning. I have two more now. I have two more back to back. And then I have a meeting from 11, 1130. And then I meet at 1130. I have a meeting at one o'clock. And then the last meeting, it would depends when they show up. So that's going to be the rest of my day. Day is going productive. It's going well. So, you guys, it's supposed to rain today. But the sun, well, later this evening, it's supposed to rain. And it looks windy outside. You guys, I love backing up to the, um, to the woods. I really do. I don't like being, um, I don't like my backyard or my back of my house facing somebody's backyard or somebody's front yard. So, because I like to keep my curtains open in my house. So, so far my day is going good. I just want to get all this stuff done. I have, I still have a lot of stuff. I still have a lot of stuff to do, but it'll get done. So right now I'm drinking my unsweetened tea with lemon. I'm going to show you. I'm not drinking alcohol. I'm drinking unsweetened tea with lemon. You know, guys, I like unsweetened tea with lemon. It's good. I mean, I like it. I mean, a lot of people don't like it it's not, because it's not sweet. I can't do sweet. I don't like it. So, and that's because I'm a diabetic. Turn this light off. So, you guys. So, I started working on my budget for the month of July. I haven't finished it yet. So, that's what I want to work on. Um, probably tomorrow. Okay, clean up. Um, let's see, clean. Okay, I'm running my micro my McAfee thing. Keep browser open. We can close your browser for a thorough check. I'm gonna close browsers. Okay. You guys, whatever you do, if you have a confirm removal. Okay. Okay, we're still gonna, okay, let's do continue. Okay. So you guys, one important thing I'm gonna tell you guys. If you have a personal computer or laptop, make sure you run those scans like you're supposed to. Because if you don't run those scans and you don't, you know, keep your um, software and stuff up to date, you can put your computer at risk and also it will slow it down. So run those scans like, you, like you're supposed to, to protect yourself and your family. Can't stress that enough. So... Anyway, I got a meeting at 11 o'clock. So let me run back over here, you all, and, and attend this other meeting. So, and I will get back with you all after my meetings, okay? Okay, guys, my package came. I can't tell you what it is just yet. And you all gonna kill me. But I'll be back, all right? I told you guys, I don't wanna spend any money. I, you are my accountability coach, and you failed me, so you're fired. <sighs> no. So, made a small purchase, you all, but it was on sale. Couldn't pass it up. Okay? So, give me a second. I got to do something for my job, and I'll be right back. I just opened a can of tuna, and I'll try to squeeze the juice off. Look, you all. Got tuna all over the the floor. Look, my shirt. Look at this crap. Tuna on my floor. I was squeezing that. Look, y'all, everywhere. No, it's not vomit. It's tuna. I was opening this tuna right here, y'all. 
okay? Reset, recess, because you all know I'm about to start cussing. Let me go ahead and get all the square words out. I'm going to put it in the washer. Damn. Forget that. Fuck. I'm so fucking mad. Let me, I'll be back. I changed my freaking shirt. You guys, sometimes you just gotta take the edge off. And I don't know why I'm, I'm sitting up there nibbling. I'm not even hungry. I'm off tomorrow, by the way. It's that damn double. That devil's out to get me, you all. Let me tell you what I did to get me. Today, the most amazing thing happened to me, you all. I gotta say this. Life happens to everybody. So life did happen somewhat to me, but in a good way. So let me, don't, you know, nothing, nothing bad, you know. So life happened. And because life happened, um, in a good way. Just because life happens, it's not always bad, everybody. I'm a firm believer. Life is what you make it. And um, no matter what it is, you have to learn to deal with it. You have to learn to deal with it, everybody. Don't walk around being a sourpuss. No, you gotta, you gotta deal with it. But don't worry, off this camera, I'm gonna do some a weed laced with cocaine and I'll be good. Come stressed. And I'm joking. I don't do weed on cocaine. On camera. That was a joke. Okay, adding some water. My eyes are dark underneath. My life is dark. My thoughts are darker. Call myself Dark Vader. Hell. You guys, when I put that camera on pause, let me say this. If you are new to my channel, I do curse. I have a very, very nasty, filthy, gutter mouth. But I don't want to do that on YouTube. I reserve that for my one-on-one -on -one interaction with people who piss me off. And that normally doesn't happen, you all. Only when I waste tuna on myself, you know, But I'm a, well, I cannot say I'm an even mouth temperament kind of brother. I'm not. Mm -mm. Nope. Oh, by the way, I'm off the clock. Yeah. You, let me, okay, let me show you all. Y'all better stop messing with me. It is 325. Not only is it 325, it is not Zen Sunday, so I can cuss as much as I want. But I'm gonna do it on camera, you all. I will not do it. I will not do it on camera. I'm off tomorrow. Me and that crack pipe. All right. Mesh out question, because you all know I'm skinny. Oh, one of these days, well, I'm not gonna, I will, first of all, I would not get naked on camera. Do you guys think I do drugs? Of course, <laughs> I don't. I don't do drugs. Well, technically, I do. I do drugs. So I'm not gonna lie. I do drugs, everybody. So I do because you know what? The only reason why I'm bringing this up. It's 
because one of my friends asked me something personal. And because they asked me something personal, guess what I did? I answered their question personally from my mouth for their ears. I am not an innocent person. Mm -mm. I keep it real. I need to stop what I'm doing. Because that's part of the reason why I'm losing weight. You know that, that saying when like people who smoke cigarettes, trust me, I don't smoke that weak stuff. I don't do that stuff, that stuff. But people gain weight, you know, when they stop smoking or whatever. But I can't put it down. But what I will say is this, I enjoy life. Have a good time. I'll say this, in my young years, you all, I've done, well, I would never say that I'm not proud of anything. I, am, I keep telling you I am not innocent. You know, I have a past. I do not regret my past. I love every moment of it. And the reason why I love every moment of it, because, take my glasses off. Let's get deep. Oh my God, y'all see them bags? Okay, so my eyes are dark underneath. That means I need water. I washed my hair today. I need to cut my hair. I'm gonna let it grow out some more. So, what the hell was I saying? I don't know. Yes, I'm sorry. Got another brain fart. Uh, excuse me. We are going to, we, look, I, I sound like a slave. We's going to go downstairs. I hope I don't fit my black subscribers. I'm just joking, everybody. And you guys, I don't understand why people get so sensitive. I'm, I'm just joking. You guys, okay, sidebar. Hold up, sidebar. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right, so let me, let me explain to you about me, everybody. I'm 55, okay? So, I do not take a lot of... Now, I told you my channel is strictly entertainment. So please don't ever take offense. I'm not going to post that part. I don't want you guys to get offended about what I say. Because, you know, we all have... Um, Let's talk about this for a minute. Everyone's, oh wow, why did I go here? Everyone's sensitivity is different. And it's based off of your experiences, how you are raised, you know, um, and your own personal beliefs, whether you believe, you know, your own, person, your own personal beliefs. I'm not gonna knock that, but I will say this, there are some people who left me a comment. And you know what? Anybody who, who has ever left me a comment, whether where I don't think it was negative. And this is one thing I gotta talk to two people about. Just because somebody says that I do something and they don't like it, I do appreciate it because I cannot change who I am. And the one thing I'm going to say to all of my YouTube family is this. Do not assume that because you get a comment that somebody's coming out of a place of malice and being nasty and judgmental. No, it's not that. If I put myself out there on this platform, I have to be able to accept the constructive criticism. Now, which leads me to my next point. Communication is not good when it's in writing. 
Don't interpret somebody's, what they put in black and white, to mean something very, very negative unless you spoke to that person one-on-one. -on -one. Because we all can read now at work, if you all work with me, I'm talking about glasses on. If you work with me and you see my emails, you're like, who the hell are this? Who is this effort talking to? Because I am a very blunt person by nature. I'm straight up. I don't tell people what they want to hear. I am very straight up. I, I just don't believe in this flowery stuff. And I think the problem here is today in the world, I gotta put my glasses on because I can't see. I'm trying to find a movie. Everybody's comfort is different. When you leave a comment on YouTube to a YouTube content creator, remember, it's not your life that you're looking at. It's their life. They might do something that it's at variance to what you believe in and what you would do. Don't go after them. Now, I told you guys, I have a nasty vulgar. I'm a jokester. I, you all, this is so true. <sighs> Normally, I don't get phone calls when I do videos, but this day, it just happened. You guys, don't trust my IQ. You know what's so funny? Here I am with a bachelor's and a master's education and credentials behind my name. And I can't barely speak to English. Now, you know that's embarrassing. But you know what? I blame you all. No, I'm just joking. You guys, I'm not going to do, I am not a y'all that fix your life. And you, and you know I'm not that. I got to say one thing. When she called the woman a bitch, though, I kind of got happy. I think I had an orgasm. I said, she cuss? I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's find a movie. Hold up. Don't want to wear Let's find a movie. You all. I say stuff out of my mouth, you all, that people don't agree with. I don't. I mean, I know I don't. Because I'm, you know, I'm just being me. But, you guys, this movie that I, hold up. I don't see it. Okay, not that. Let me find a movie, and I'll be right back. All right? Oh, guys. Okay. I gotta stop drinking. Okay, guys. Put my glasses on. Oh, no. I gotta see. Okay, guys. So, I f well, I didn't got find a movie. This is an old school movie. So, we're going to old school in this segment, okay? So... I'm going to tell you what the movie is, and then, I'm listen, then you go do what you got to do while I watch the movie. The movie is almost two hours long. Remember, I'm off tomorrow. Hold on. You guys, I am watching Boys in the Hood, okay? This is a 1991 classic. You guys, I love this movie. I love that movie. You guys, I do. I love that movie. You know, guys... Sometimes, if I find a movie that I really, really, really like, I keep watching it because it's just a good, it, it's really a good movie. And they, they did a very, I don't, I've never been to South Central California. So if you live in South Central California, and I, they told me you can't read red because that's the bloods and blues is the crypt. I don't know. But I don't, I don't know. It's just something about, by the way, about it. Let's clear the air. I do like hardcore rap. I like Snoop. See, I like old school rap. Like Snoop, Doggy Dog, and Dr. Dre. Oh, I love them. Oh, no. They can't do no wrong with my eyes. I would love to meet Snoop, Doggy Dog, and Smoke a Blunt. I'm just joking. That was a joke. That was a joke. I had to watch out joke in front of you all because y'all take my what I say seriously. You should. So, <laughs> that was also a joke. So, I'm going to press play. Hold on. Look at the ambiance right. Hold on, you all. Oh, make it. Make it darker. All right. I'll be right back. Athens movie. And what time is it? I don't know. Doesn't matter.
I'm out tomorrow. All right, I'll be back. What's up, guys? I'm back. Okay. I think I had three of these. My neighbor, she's on her way over. Can I ask y'all a question? Do you all think I'm a drunk and I'm crazy? Be careful how you answer that question. No, I'm not crazy. I'm just, you know, you know, I'm just me. No, so getting back, so by the way, I finished watching the movie, um, um, Boys in the Hood. You know, I always love that movie. Um, I don't know. You guys, I, I'm just a person who accepts, well, I accept everything. But what I'm trying to say is I have a broad mind, you know. I don't know. It's, it's you all. I enjoy life. Oh, I love that titties. Y'all know I'm skinny. Ain't got no titties. Look, monkey titties. No, but I really, 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 really enjoy life. I want people to have fun and just, excuse me, enjoy life. I'm in a good mood, you guys, because I'm telling you, this life-changing event, I can't tell you just yet. Oh, it's going to it's gonna be the video, but it will not be right now because I do want people to understand a lot of things about life. I told you life happened to me. No, let me not say like reality. Let me say re, let me say reality happened, and I had to face it head on. And you guys know I'm such a TMI upfront person, and it's not what you think it is. I'm gonna hold that. It's a, this is this is a teaser. This is a teaser. But we were talking about just life, you know. So, by the way, during the movie, because I, I know I've seen Boys in the Hood 15 million times, I talked to a lot of my close friends, and we have the same understanding because we're older. And I, who in the hell is this? Oh, that's Chef D. So, we, we have a consistent understanding about life. Hold on, you guys. Okay. That was my, one of my close friends. And listen, anybody who knows me, so I want to go live one day. I want I want to relate to my audience, to my viewers. So a friend of mine is on the way over here. And she doesn't like horror. I like horror movies. Hell, I love horror right now. Hold on. I told you I like horror movies, okay? God damn! Oh, 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 shit. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold commercial. Being educated doesn't mean you have to let go of your real side. You know, some people, and I'm, I, listen, not only am I educated, I'm highly credentialed, okay? You cannot tell from this camera because I don't carry it like that. But no, I like to have fun. When you die, you cannot take this crap with you. This is all man-made. But, um, hold on.